Yeah, well, we talked earlier about AI and VR, and I am definitely down the rabbit hole of AI and VR and where technology is taking our industry. So some of my takeaways right now are more about mindset. You know, a lot of the questions we're getting right now are fear-based, right? So it's like, you know, what's it going to do? What's it going to do to my job? What's it going to do to how we're generating leads? What's it going to do to the tax protest process? And what I would say is one of my takeaways right now, at least for now, is Fear is not the right approach to this. Curiosity, humility is the right approach to the future of technology, right? Fear about the internet did not serve anyone well, right? Fear about cellular technology did not serve anyone well. I remember my dad worked for IBM way back in the day and had a cell phone like in the, in the early 80s, like the one that was like mounted to a steel bar, the Zach Morris phone, the one that was wired from the trunk. He had all of them, right? And people were like, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Well, you know, I can tell you in my mind, millions and millions of dollars of income has come through that cell phone right there, right? Now, there's some challenges and some negatives to it, but that's where self-control comes into play. So I think AI is going to follow a very similar footprint or path. My encouragement to our, our friends and our listeners is be curious, be humble, have boundaries. But right now, I think both artificial intelligence and virtual reality are going to do some very, very exciting things in the world of residential real estate. And here at the Tatra Money Home Selling Team, we're going to take advantage of them to benefit our clients, and we're going to leave them outside when it becomes a threat to our ability to serve people.